Hi guys, it's Anita. I'm about to come in and show you something really quickly. It's a game changer. If you're in Adobe Illustrator, right, and you're making logos, you know the most time consuming thing when it comes to making a logo in your Illustrator is not really making the logo, but exporting it in the file formats that you need it and also giving color options. So I'm going to show you how quick it is to export it. Um, I have a new software called the logo package. And so I've downloaded, I've tested it, I've used it on my last probably four or five logos. And it is a game changer, especially if you aren't familiar with print design and Pantones and, and all of that good stuff. Um, this is going to be game changing for you because what you're going to be able to do is export your logo in the main file, as well as your submarks and separating the taglines if you want to, okay? So once you get the logo package, you're going to get um, a PDF that's going to show you how to install it. Once you download it, you're going to go to file, you're going to go down to scripts, other script, and what's going to happen is going to pop up and give you a dialog to go to your folders where you downloaded it and then upload it in the system. Once you do that, you're going to restart your Illustrator and to make sure that it is in your file within the software, you're going to go to Windows and Extensions and it should be right here. Using it is so freaking easy. And I'm about to show you two or three examples really quickly. So let's say this is my logo here, right? This is something that I made really quick. Your girl has been in here trying to figure out some things. <laughs> what am I going to do with this logo for my name and all that good stuff. So I'm going to select this one here. Um, I already have it pulled over here in, in my toolbar. I'm going to hit set logo, right? So what it's doing is going in and selecting um, all of the elements, right? Everything is outlined now. So, and before you do this, you want to make sure that you're going in your color palette and um, getting rid of all of the colors that you aren't using in this um, swatch set. So you can go up here and select all unused and just delete them. Um, I am using all of these colors, so boom, we're good to go. So right in here, you're going to select what is going to be your submark because it's automatically going to take this logo here and put it in all of the different formats that you need. So I'm going to select these right here because I want this to be like my submark. Um, here we go. So let's see, set logo mark. So click this. It's going to separate it from the file, right? Does not matter what these labels are because I've exported some logos and they're just other alternatives to the logo. I don't care what they label it. I'm going to give it my own label and give it um, own set of rules, right? So here we are. I'm going to take this. And let's say this is my tagline. It's not, but hey, let's roll with it. Set tagline. Set tagline. So I already have the elements that I want out of it. Let's just, you know, let's export the end just, just because I feel like it. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. So once you've done that, you've selected all of the formats or all of the pieces of the logo that you want in their own separate formats, what you're going to do is either hit web logos or print logos. This is going to give you two different formats. You're going to have one for web, which is RGB, right? And then we're also going to have one for print, which is CMYK. If you are doing design, you should know that those are two different color formats. Um, this is why this is so important and takes little to no time and it's going to save you a ton of money all right because time is money let's click make web logos y'all this is changing the game oh my god and so once you get in here you're gonna just deselect the ones that you don't want anymore or you can edit them so like see this in is kind of is white that's because it inverted it and that's fine what i'm gonna do is just change that to black or you can delete it if you want to. Um, it gives you the grayscale. It gives you all of this, y'all. Like, this is so, like, this has blown my little country mind. Like, y'all just have no idea. <laughs> so, I'm um, actually, I want to make this teal. And I'll show you another one, too. I want to make this teal. And then, once you do that, you export it. You label it. And it's going to export this within your folders. Y'all, this is like game changing. Like, I, let me make sure y'all can see all of my stuff. I just shared another screen. 
but it's going to export every single one of those files and put them in their own folders. You know what I can be doing while this is doing this? Like I can go and make me some coffee. I can go to the bathroom. I can tend to my kids. Like I don't want to be sitting here exporting every single one of these file formats individually. I can close my screen and go do something else. Like this is game changing and it saves so much money. And what I love about it, it's a one-time fee. I was like, what? Not even a monthly subscription for something so amazing. Oh, okay. Game on. <laughs> so I think it has finished this one. Let's see. That wasn't even five minutes, y'all. That wasn't even five freaking minutes. Don't laugh at my folders. Don't do it. It's none of your business, right? I, yes, I know I have a million things in here. It's none of your business. Now, look in here. What? Oh my gosh. And see, all you have to do is go in and rename your folders. That is freaking amazing, right? Let me do one more. Okay, I made this quick logo for a Shopify store that I'm making. I'm going to select this first. Actually, let me go in here and clear out. I can go in and do my print logos if I want to. It's going to do Pantone, Pantone printing and all of that if I want to, but that's not what I'm ready to do. So let's refresh. Yes, I would like to make a new logo package. No, I don't want to save this. Let's go here. All right. I'm going to select it again. The file that I want, set logo. Here it is going in, outlining my fonts, outlook, outlining all of my elements, right? Then we're going to go in and select individually the uh, submarks and taglines and anything that we want to export, all right? So I want this piece here. Let's go in and set that as our logo mark. And I want to select the actual wording. So let's go down and select brown crowns. Let's go here. And it takes a little plan with to kind of get used to it. Let's do, do that and let's make web logos. This is like crazy to me. And I'm so mad that I didn't find this before, like real mad. Um, but see this one exported perfectly. Like I would keep all of this. There's really nothing that I would want to get rid of. Um, the only thing is I probably wouldn't need that because it didn't put it in grayscale. Um, so I'm just going to delete this one and you can go into your artboards and delete it if you need to. So this is the one deleting it. All right. Let's go in and I am going to export. And I'm literally about to use this like game changing. I'm going to drop the link um, because I talked to Michael who created this and he gave me a cool discount code for everyone to use. Everybody say affiliate. Okay, we got it out the way. Okay. Ah. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is drop the link and give you the discount code. And I want you to check this out. If you are someone that is going to be creating logos, you even if you DIY your logos, um, you should be able to export at least a couple of formats on your own. But if not, you need to go in and invest into the software because if you have created a logo in Illustrator and you have found yourself saying, man, I've created this in here because they said it's the best, but why is my logo all fuzzy when I scale it up? That's because you aren't using the correct format, especially if you're doing print and you're doing retractable banners and all of that. And what you're doing is trying to take that logo in JPEG and scale it up and, and it gets all fuzzy and blurry and look like you drew it with a crayon. That is why you need the software. Okay. I'm going to drop the link and I'll see y'all later. Thanks.